you guys went through that offensive drought. Did you like the, the shots that you guys were getting? A few of them. You know, I felt like uh, a few of them. Uh, we, uh, we couldn't establish anything in, inside the day. And we, you know, we shot an awful lot amount of three, an awful lot of threes. Um, and I think we're a really good three-point shooting team. Ball's got to get in the lane first. Um, and it never really, it never really did. I don't think our, our uh, big guys gave us much of an offensive post presence. Um, you know, you give their guys a lot of credit for uh, fighting the front and returning on their ball screen hedges and, and not allowing easy passes into the post. Conversely, I thought that was a problem for us. And uh, we, we have to correct that. We got to get better interior play so we can play a little bit more inside out. You mentioned defensive breakdowns down the stretch there. Where, where were those? Uh, mostly in the post, but you know, I could probably, I could probably talk about, you know, uh, they ran a, uh, a ball screen where they bring the other big high and, and we call it high action. And uh, they scored five or six points on it. And uh, didn't need, we didn't defend it the way we needed to. And uh, we've repped that a lot, but obviously not enough. And that, that action hurt us. A um, couple of times I thought we played great defense, only not come up with a, a loose ball, um, specifically the one with a couple seconds on the shot clock. And Juwan, you know, snatches it up right next to Steve and lays it in. And, uh, you know, that was a killer. A couple miscommunications on ball screens, uh, not, fight, not fighting in the post. As hard as we should. So, yeah. Uh, what you what remember from previous Archie Bellick teams? Is this on, on course from what he was at Dayton when you ran into 